Okay, the second reason, the second reason why people can create healthy boundaries is a fantasy of a paradise world. There are rude people and kind people. There are black and white. There is day and night. And every person has bad and good qualities. And we want to live in the illusion that bad things happen to others and not to me. We want to believe that another person did not mean to be rude. We create excuses, thousands of excuses for others just to um, tell ourselves and our close friends that this person is a good one. And in reality, we're just afraid to stand up for ourselves. In reality, we are afraid to lose this predator because we're so in touch with him, because we're so dependent on him, because we're so connected to this person. And we prefer to live in the illusion of a paradise world. We believe that one day the situation will change somehow magically and I will be happy. The reason number three why people can create healthy boundaries uh, is we ignore obvious signs of predators. So the reason number two is because we want to believe in a paradise world, because we want to believe that uh, bad things won't happen to us. And the reason number three, which is following from the reason number two, is because we want to ignore signs of predators. And the fairy tale, uh, the blue beard, uh, in uh, the book Women Who Run With The Wolves, chapter 2, uh, shows that the predator has a blue colored beard. Uh, and this is the red flag. So we see red flags every day. And this is the red flag that something is wrong, something is awkward. And the signs uh, often are in front of our eyes. And we see them every day, but we ignore them. We want to overlook the person's bad qualities. We tell ourselves and others that this person is good, especially if this person is our partner, is our mother, father or best friend. And we, not them, not predators, but actually we will find hundreds of reasons why this person is nice and why he did not mean to do bad things that he did. But in reality, what we should do instead, we should protect our boundaries. We should say no, and we should be able to walk away.